And I'm very pleased to say that today's session guest joins me in the studio. Jason Pierce, welcome to our Six Music Studio Thank down you. here at Maida Vale. How are you doing? I'm good. Well, listen, it's good to be in your company. Thanks for coming in to do a session for us. You've got this new album, Sweetheart Sweet Light, ready to go. How are you feeling about it? Um, nervous. Really? Yeah. Do you always feel like that before no, the whole concert? No, I've just, I've not been, a, I've not played many shows. This is the first show we've done actually since a year and a half. So wow, just a little shaky. Okay. Can I prop myself up a little? Okay, <laughs> I think you're going to be all right. Hope. I mean, it's sounding pretty awesome out there. That's what we've heard so far. Um, so with this record, you kind of produce it yourself. You mix it yourself. Did you do that at home? Because I know it was recorded in various parts of the world, like a bit in Reykjavik, yeah, a bit in I, I, Wales. I did most of it at home. Mm -hmm. I had to do a pretty foul course of medical treatment and. I figured the best place to do that, to to, to sort of, rather than take a year out, I'd mix the record on that. So it's uh, it's been a weird year. It sounds like it was tough going. Yeah, a little bit at times. But how, how much of that makes its way into the into the record? Do you think? Because obviously, you know, with your with your previous work, like something like songs in A and E, you could. How much of that is us kind of thinking about those things that you've gone through and you know knowing about those and transposing that onto the record? For the listener, I don't think you, you listen to music like that. I don't mm -hmm. think you listen to what it, how what it was like for me. But I don't really know. I don't. I can barely listen to it to be honest. Really? Yeah. What the new one? Yeah. Really. It's a good promotion for it, isn't it? <laughs> oh my goodness. I mean, I heard you talking about uh, the recording process, the mixing with uh, Six Music's Matt Everett a few weeks ago, and you were saying that you are something of a perfectionist when it comes to your music. How hard do you find it to, uh, to get to the point where you think, right, that track's finished, I have to leave it alone now. If I do, if I do anything uh, else to um, it, I might spoil yeah, it. Yeah, I don't know. When it resists any change, further change, and I'm kind of, I'm not perfectionist like I want the perfect sound it's just how it how it sounds right to me mm -hmm. so I chase that a little bit and just I kind of know when it when it um, you know the difference between great music and poor music it's not like poor music is here and great is this and by degrees they get better or worse the, the, the difference between them is so slight you know just a difference a difference of production or a slightly different voice can change something that melts your heart into something that's kind of unlistenable or kind of background so it's just making sure it all sits on the right side and and is that part of the attraction of it for you that it's such uh, a making fine art? records yeah no i don't know if i like it i think the i like going on tour mm -hmm. so like the, the sort of payoff is touring okay and you are you going to be doing that over the summer because i know you've got some festival shows planned yeah. Uh -huh. are, are there any more live dates in the pipeline Not other than that i know we've got some dates in america and some we start in England now, yeah. tonight, <laughs> yeah. today. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, I mean, you are a band too, of, well, and, and an artist, obviously, because before Spiritualised, you, you were making records, um, who have a really passionate and, and an enormous following. And, you know, you mentioned that you've had some difficult times and stuff over the past few years, especially with your health. Do you feel a sense of support from the people who, who really love your music and love what you do? Yeah, I think so. I think more so now. You no, know? I mean, sometimes. Um, yeah, and I suppose the only time you really get involved with that is when you tour. So that kind of kicks off a bit now, really. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah. And I mean, obviously, people must have been coming to see you kind of over the years and, and coming back to see you. Have you kind of got? Do you see familiar faces ever when yeah, you look out always, into the crowd? Always, and some are close friends now, so it's kind of good. Yeah. And I know that uh, your daughter makes an appearance on the, the record. record yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Tell uh -huh. me, tell me about the track she that she wrote. She, the, on. she wrote the part, the front end of "So Long, You Pretty Things," and she writes like a child. You know, like like. She's at, she's eleven. Is that right? Yeah, but yeah. you know, like the way that most people put brakes on what they want to give away, and you get to a way of kind of what sort of supposed wisdom, but you you hold back some of the thoughts. She's, and she writes like. She says things really beautifully and really simply, and and uh, so we put it on the record, and I thought it was right that she sang it as well. Yeah, I mean, she so she does she love music in general, or was this like a one-off thing? Kind of. Her? I just think um, maybe I was desperate for a bit of music. <laughs> okay. It just it just sounded amazing when she started to do it. We put I mean, she put it together with like just one walk, fifteen-minute walk, and it was there. But it kind of made sense, and it's and it's and it's. 
Many Heroes, not something I could have written, you know. Mm -hmm. And is that something that's changed your perspective on music, like fatherhood? Because I, I think with my kids, you, you, it's, you know, it is a bit of a cliche, but you, you see things afresh, don't you? And you, you reevaluate things. Yeah, a little bit, and just, I mean, some of the records about that, you know, that that's not. I'm not trying to make a record like I'm a young kid anymore. You know, mm -hmm. it's like, um, but yeah, some of some of the music, some of the words are about that as well. Yeah. Well, listen. This album's about to come out. How far ahead after that are you planning? What you know? What what would you like to to do over the rest of the year with it? Now that it's about to be well, out I there. I think we just play live, and it get, it kind of by degrees it gets better. It just works, and it sort of it 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 starts, and then it sort of gets you know you get you get more able to reach the real highs or the real kind of moments in the music. So. So you said that you find the record hard to listen to, but you love playing live. Do you find the songs easy to play live in that sense? Do you know what I mean? Like it might be sort of in some ways yeah, painful so to put them on when you like and actually listen to the tracks, but playing them out is that different? Yeah, well, be, live's like being in a I don't know like a waterfall, like the music's around, but you're not trying to capture it. Mm -hmm. And trying to capture sound is the difficult bit because that you know you, that's that's why it takes so, so long to get those bits right. Whereas live, you just kind of, you can bend it a little or push it somewhere, but you can't, you, you don't have to hold on to it. Absolutely. Well, listen, we're really looking forward to you playing live for us today. Thank you so much for being part of Six Music's birthday celebrations. Jason Pierce. Thank you.